Happy Halloween! This is Nicole here today with a card featuring Simon Says Stamp, Stamps and Dies, for this Halloween themed card. I'm going to be using the spider web background and the Bwahaha Stamps and Coordinating Dies for this simple color schemed card that is black, white, and yellow. Let's start with our background panel, which is going to be A2 sized, meaning four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're going to take the foam insert out of a standard size Misty, and we're going to stamp the spider web onto our background paper with clear embossing ink and emboss this really awesome spider web background with some black sparkle hero arts embossing powder. I decided to do something with a little bit of sparkle to kind of set the spider web apart. This there's not a ton of inking or any inking I guess as far as that goes for the background on this card and I'm going to use quite a bit of sparkle in other elements and so the subtle sparkle of the black sparkle embossing powder is really going to play when you tip the card in the light and things and work well with the rest of the sparkle we're going to add to the background. So it's a little bit more interesting than just a standard black stamped background or even just a um, embossed background with a regular embossing powder. Once I have all of the embossing powder covering the background panel, I'm going to take my heat tool and heat set this spider web. And I like to make sure that my heat tool is really good and warm before I take it to my paper to help reduce warping. And then I'm just gonna gently move this back and forth, you can see, until I get the entire thing melted. Tipping the paper at an angle allows me to see a little bit better where I've been. I know in the video it's really hard to see that, especially with this kind of embossing powder, I think. But in real life, tipping it at an angle shows me where I've embossed and where I haven't. So here is our background spider web. Next, we're going to take images from the Bwahaha stamp set. This was brand new. Both of these products actually are brand new for 2018. They were released within the last couple of releases from Simon Says Stamp. And we're going to use tons of images from this stamp set for a card, including the haunted house, bats, the cross, the tombstone, the scary eyes, the fence, and the moon. Anything I'm going to stamp with black ink, I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Um, I know I put the moon out here, but I'm actually going to stamp that here in a little bit with some Simon Says Stamp Sunshine ink. So we're going to just start with anything in black embossing first. I am using an ink for Copic coloring, and that is very much on purpose because I know I want to add some color to the windows of my haunted house. Um, instead of leaving this plain, I thought it would be great to add a little bit of color. This is going to be one of those areas where we can pull in some yellow. And I'm going to use some yellow Copic markers here in Y19, 8, and 11. We're going to use those for the outline letters as well. And that's really about it as far as coloring goes. There is not a ton of coloring here. This is just adding some depth and dimension to this adorable haunted house. Once I have my images stamped and colored and my shading all done, I am going to die cut these for the front of my card. You could even add some color to the eyes, I think it would be really cute and fun, even some yellow, since that's kind of the color scheme we're going for. I left mine white, but I think it would be really fun to add some color to these, depending on the kind of card you're creating. I'm using some Snips scissors to cut apart my dies. One of the fantastic things about this stamp set is that I think there is a die for every image in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Um, everything from the large greetings, the happy Halloween and the boo, to the stars, the bats, um, the gate, 
the fence, the tombstones in the house, and moon, everything has got dies. So this is a fantastic die set. And then we're going to kind of center everything just below the center of the card, I guess I want to say. So it's all going to kind of radiate out from the center of the spider web, which I'm going to use that as a place to kind of anchor or center the moon from my scene, which we'll add here in just a little bit. I've stamped that moon with Simon Says Stamp Sunshine Ink. I did that about twice. I did use the Misty to stamp that so I could get a nice solid image. And I picked a ink color that would complement the Copic coloring that I've done elsewhere on my card design. We are going to attach that, as I mentioned, to the center of the spider web and then put a layer of Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard over the top of this. Once dry, it's going to be this awesome sparkly moon. For the haunted house, we're going to pop this up with foam adhesive squares. So I'm going to just put some on the back of this house and then we're going to pop this in place. Everything kind of centers out from this house and the moon. I want the moon to kind of be peeking out from behind the house. And then we're going to take Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard again and put a coating of this on all of the windows that we colored in in the house so that they have a fantastic sparkly finish as well. Next, we're going to take some bats from this Bwahaha stamp set and I am only putting a foam, or not, pardon me, not a foam adhesive, a glue dot in the center of each and popping those in place on my card. The fence I trimmed in half and I'm going to tuck half behind each side of the house and then I'm going to find somewhere to tuck the tombstone that says rest in peace. I'm going to color in those letters. I'm just taking my yellow, one of the yellow Copic markers and coloring that. And I actually think I'm going to tuck this over to the left and then the cross is going to go over on the right. But the fence is going to come out from each side of our haunted house. And we will pop up the tombstone with some foam adhesive squares just like we did the house. Kind of a combination, some items with foam adhesive, some without. I did stamp and die cut an additional small bat to place over on the left side of the card. I like my bat elements oftentimes if I'm doing a Halloween card with bats in an odd number, so three in this case. I'm going to put a layer of Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard over the tombstone as well to make this sparkly and it's a really iridescent sparkle so once dry, I think you really get that iridescent-y feel of that. And then we need to figure out some places to put the little eyes. Just like the bats, I'm going to have a trio of spooky eyes throughout the card. We're going to tuck the first pair of eyes on the haunted house. And then we will finish with the next two here in a little bit. I did take a black glaze pen and add that to the pupils of the eyes to really make them pop. Now to complement and coordinate with the rest of the card, we're going to color in the Happy Halloween outline letters with our same colors of Copic markers we used for the coloring of the windows in the house. That's Y19, 8, and 11. And it's going to be, go from dark at the bottom to lighter and then almost white at the top. And then we want to die cut this as well. And the great thing about the Happy Halloween and then the Haunted House and Fence, when you pop the Happy Halloween underneath this, it's about the same width. So it really just kind of all works together really nicely. And it's going to add a nice little pop of color 
down here below our scene that we've created. And I wanna just try to get that lined up as perfectly as possible. And just like the other yellow elements on the card, we're gonna do a layer of Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard over all of the letters, and when they dry, they're gonna be nice and sparkly. Spooky fun here was the theme of this card. We've got a few more elements from the stamp set to add to finish our scene. So we've got our cross that we're gonna glue in place onto the right side of the house. And we also have some little eyes, the two additional eye images I want to attach. So we're gonna adhere one of them kind of in the upper portion of the haunted house and the other one peeking out from behind the tombstone. I'm gonna use glue dots to attach these to my card. And then once these are adhered, I'm going to want to put a layer of glossy accents over the eyes. This is just going to make them nice and glossy and really show up. I'm going to make sure and put or use the black glaze pen over the pupils. And then that glossy accents while I have it out, I'm going to cover that cross with the glossy accents as well so it's got a glossy, fantastic finish when dry. I have a fine tip applicator on my glossy accents, which makes it easy to draw over these smaller images. Now I've got some Nouveau Crystal Drops and I'm gonna add some little droplets around the upper part of the card. Um, almost kind of like dew drops that get caught in the spider web. In this case, we're using a yellow translucent color and then a silver moon dust color. Um, the silver moon dust, of course, has sparkle in it as well. Lots of sparkle on this card. And then the other one is translucent. The yellow is translucent so you can see through it nicely and it doesn't take away from the overall look of the card. The final thing we're gonna do for our card panel today is finish with another stamped sentiment from the Bwahaha stamp set. We're gonna take Eat, Drink, and Be Scary, stamp this on some black licorice cardstock using a clear embossing ink, and then heat emboss this with some white embossing powder. This is the Hero Arts White Fine Detail Embossing Powder. And then we're gonna pop our sentiment up with some foam adhesive so it stands out just a little bit. I'm just using my heat tool to melt that. We're gonna trim this with the tonic guillotine trimmer into a thin strip. Trim this down. I love these foam adhesive strips. I'm gonna pop those on the back and then adhere this right underneath Happy Halloween. We'll glue this whole panel to the front of a white top fold card base. I'm gonna use my Teflon bone folder to score my card really well. Place my adhesive right on the front of the card, take my panel to that, adhere that. And the final thing we're gonna do today is I thought it would be fun to have an envelope that coordinates a little bit. So we're gonna take the Simon Says Stamp black metallic envelope, take one of the other greetings from the Bwahaha stamp set that says trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, stamp that in the center, sprinkle on a little white embossing powder, stamp the large bat from the stamp set right underneath that, sprinkle that with white embossing powder. I am gonna use a small paintbrush to remove any of the white flakes of embossing powder that are not on the design before I heat set this. 
And when I heat set it, it's going to provide me with an envelope that perfectly matches the card we just created. And I love that white embossing on the black metallic envelope. And the metallic, of course, has a little subtle shimmer to it, which coordinates beautifully with our card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Halloween themed card featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.